sit on the couch with my wife and my daughter calls, Isaiah got shot, Isaiah got shot, Isaiah got shot. The minute we get there, I run into two cops laughing, two Metro Day cops. They're laughing and treating it like nothing. They didn't have no information for me about nothing. I'd ask somebody else. Finally, he's going to Jackson Ryder Tremor Center. When I finally get to see the person after the CAT scan says to me, your son got shot in the head. There's bullet fragments or something in his right eye. He's bled out a lot. His survival rate is one to two percent. The reality of not having my son is in front of me. Looking at the machines, looking at the vitals. At 10.41, December 29th, my son was pronounced dead. These animals are still out claiming death. I have to move out of here. My family's life is on the line. It took one, almost my daughter. But you live in this war zone. Before you got here, I put the AK away. But I have it there because I have to be able to protect myself in case somebody decides to start shooting into my house. That's my normal now. When you get the chance, you can see my car. You can see this right here, and you can see the bullets that penetrated. People don't live where I live at. I guess the best thing I could do is move to a better neighborhood. I want to leave the. I want to live in the neighborhood I live in now, and it'd be safer. My my son got killed. My house got shot up. All kind of things is taking place, but I think we're just as human or just as worthy as Kendall, Coral Gables, Pescaya. Why, why, why are their budgets higher in some particular set places and lower in some set particular set places? Why am I being told by police that we have a limited amount of cop cars to protect you? Go kill, you're not gonna get caught. It's like robbing a bank and realizing you're not gonna get caught from robbing the bank and you already have what you wanted. You got the money, you didn't get caught, fine. When does it become a reality that murder happens here almost every day or every other day? Because nothing that anyone does is gonna bring my son back, but I'm also a realist. And this being real, they say real recognize real, another mother is gonna be crying in South Florida and another family is gonna feel the pain and the anger.